All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to do five really cool text effects in Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. So the five text effects I'm going to show you today are the see-through, the color wipe, the typewriter, the underwater, and the glitch. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to do them. Okay, so let's start off with the see-through. So the first thing we're going to want to do for this one is bring a color mat onto our timeline. So if we go to new item, color mat, okay. Keep it black for now. And we're just going to drag that onto row two on our timeline. Now the row sequence is quite important. So put this on row two. So now we're going to add our text on top. So if we click on the text tool, click on our screen. I'm going to type in sunset because I'm going to be using a sunset as the background. And then I'm going to go to my text and I'm going to change it to Futura. Okay, and then I'm going to make that as big as I can. 250, that should do it. Then I'm going to go to graphics and I'm just going to center this. Okay, and then we'll go back to our editing screen. Now we've got our text on top of our color mat. Now, what we're going to want to do is go to our color mat. We're going to go to our effects. We're going to go to key. And then we're going to drag the track mat key onto our color mat. And then where it says mat, we're going to choose video three. And then we're going to click reverse. Now you're not going to be able to see anything yet because both the text and the mat are black. But if we drag on our sunset seam, boom. And now we have the sunset in the background. Now, obviously you can move the image around if you want to. You can change the opacity on the color mat so that you have a little bit more of the background in there. You can do all sorts of things, but that's how you get the see-through text effect, okay? So that's the first one, let's clear that. Okay, so let's go on to number two, which is the color wipe. Now, for this one, I'm gonna drag our video onto one. Okay, I've just got this video of some fruit falling in some water. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab our color mat onto two. I'm gonna change the color mat color to, let's just change it to a blue. And then I'm gonna put some text over the top. So I'm gonna click on my text tool and I'm gonna to type in fruit. And I'm going to make that text a little bit bigger. Now what we're going to do with our middle layer, the color mat, is we're going to go to the opacity and we're going to change it to something like screen. Now play around with this effect. They will do different things, but I quite like screen. It depends on the image really or the video. And now you can see you've got this color on the video itself. To make the full effect, what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to effects and we're gonna type in linear. Okay, and then you get this linear wipe effect. We drag that onto our color mat. We're gonna go all the way to the end and then we're gonna click on keyframe and put a keyframe there. Then we're gonna bring it all the way to the start and go 100%, okay? And then bring that all the way to the start. Okay, so you can see what's about to happen. But to finish off the effect, we're gonna copy this linear wipe onto our text. Okay, and now when we play it back, this is what you get. Okay, so cool little effect. Okay, so that's my color wipe. Let's move on to the next one, the classic typewriter. Okay, there's a lot of ways of doing this, but this is the way that I do it. Okay, so I am gonna go to my text tool Let's type in our text, typewriter. And then again, we're gonna go to graphics and we're gonna center that horizontally and vertically, go back to editing. Okay, so now we've got our typewriter text over our typewriter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna go to linear wipe again. Okay, we're gonna drag that on to our text. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make random cuts. There's 10 letters, so let's make 10 cuts, sorry, 11 cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
11. And now when you see, if you move this transition completion, it's deleting the letters as we go, which is what we want. So then we want to go through and we want to change this transition completion to T for the first one. Then we go to the second one. And we will change this to TY. Third one, TYP. And the last one we just leave as is. Okay, and then when you play it back, you get this effect. Okay, like a typewriter. Match up the lengths of your cuts to the typewriter sound effects. Okay, so that's how you do the typewriter. Next one I'm going to show you, I'm going to call underwater. This one's fairly straightforward. I'm going to drag some fish onto my timeline, a fish video I've got here. I'm going to drag that onto my timeline. So I'm going to go to my text tool and I've changed the font using Fontura, I think it's called. So I'm going to just type in fish and I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically and go back to my edit screen. Okay, let's just drag this out a little bit. What I'm going to do with this one is give it a sort of weird underwater effect. I'll show you. On the text itself, we're going to go to effects and we're going to go to type in turbulence and we're going to put in turbulent displace. We're going to drag that effect onto our text. Okay, and you'll see that the letters have started to change. Now we're going to change a few of these settings. We're going to change the complexity to 1.5 and we're going to put a few key frames in. So we're going to click on evolution and we're going to go zero at the start and then we're going to put another keyframe at 10 at the end. Okay. Then we're going to go to offset turbulence and we're going to start another keyframe at the end. I'm going to bring our cursor all the way to the start and we're going to move the offset to around 300 just to try that out to start off with. Okay, and now when we play it back, you've got this weird warpy underwater sort of effect. Now obviously you can speed it up and make it faster, but yeah, nice little effect. I like that one, that's one of my favorite ones. So let's go on to the last one, which is just a really easy glitch effect. Now there's loads of ways to do this. This is just a quick way I'm going to show you today. Okay, so I've just got this escape video. We're just going to put the effect over. Got my text tool. I'm going to write glitch. Okay, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to hold down Alt and then drag it up to create a duplicate text, okay? So now we've got duplicate glitch text. In the top one, we're going to go to our effects. So we're going to type in wave warp, okay? And drag that onto our top text layer, okay? And as you can see, it's already started to do something. Now, we're going to change a few settings here. So we're going to change the wave height to 50, the width to 100, direction to zero, and we're going to go minus 10 with the wave speed. We're also going to change it from sine wave to a square. Okay, so they're the settings. Now, what we want to do is we want to go onto our timeline, just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we're going to go three frames in and we're going to put a cut. Then we're going to go four frames, two, three, four, make another cut. Three frames, cut. Four frames, cut. So we're going to get rid of the second and fourth cut on the top layer. And then we're going to make the same cuts on the bottom layer. And we're going to get rid of alternate parts of the layer. So now you can see we're getting that glitch effect. What you can do to make it a little bit more glitchy is on the second top layer. Just You can just change the scale of that if you want to. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this. We're going to hold down Alt and we're just going to duplicate it across on our timeline. And now when we play it back, 
you've got that little glitch effect and then you can mess with the colors and all sorts but that's how you get the basic glitch effect so that's it for this one really hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful if you have please do give it a thumbs up zooms me up the old youtube algorithm so i'd really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up leave me a comment below read and reply to every comment it's always nice to hear from you guys if you haven't already please do consider subscribing to this channel releasing content on a monday and thursday at the moment audio and visual gear reviews editing tutorials drone tutorials got loads of playlists set up for you so it's easy to navigate around my channel so yeah please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so i can let you know when new content is released if you're already subscribed appreciate you don't forget to hit that notification bell so i can let you know when new content comes out so that's it for this one hope i've given you some nice ideas to mess around with your text in premiere pro and i'll catch you in the next one mm -hmm.